please raise your hand if you have a question and we will get to as many as we can get to. So let's start with Joe Rudder, Tribune. Hi, Najee. Um, do you have any expectations coming into this and what have you gotten out of these past two days? You said what? Have I got any what? what? Did you have any expectations coming into the two day camp here and what have you gotten out of it? Oh, expectations? No, I mean, I have no expectations. Um, I just came in here really just to learn, learn the offense. Um, it is a new offense. So just can learn uh, and bond with some of the guys here, of course, um, in the mini camp. Um, but, you know, main goal is just to, just to get better each day, though. You know, that's it. Brooke Pryor, ESPN. Yeah, hey, Najee, you mentioned, you know, meeting teammates, but you're also getting to know your coaches. It looked like you and Mike Tomlin had some time to talk during stretch. What have you learned about him maybe that you didn't know before now that you're getting to work with him, you know, more on a daily one-on-one -on -one basis? Yeah, um, I'll, I'll say one thing that I took, I got taken away so far from him is, uh, you know, he's really a people's person. You know, he, he really, like, um, takes time out of his day to, to really get to know the players that, uh, that, that he's drafted and, and that who he has. And, you know, he, he really, like, just looks for the best, looks out and, um, and really just, like, you know, really cares for the players. You could tell by just the way, like, he, he even comes in the locker room and chops it up with people. And he always has, a, like, a, you know, a ball of energy. So, you know, a lot of people just feed off of that. So, you know, he's, he's, he's somebody that, that you know, it's, it's easy to, to want to play for, you know, because just he's such a likable person. Mark Cavalli, The Athletic. Hey, Najee. Um, speaking of the offense and learning a new one, is it any way similar to that of what you did in Alabama? You know, anything specifically you could uh, point to that is the same? Yeah, um, there's a lot of things that's actually similar. It's just different, you know, different terminology, um, but the same meaning at the end of the day. Um, it's, it's different. Like a lot of stuff that what they'll do is different names for what we'll do, but it all means the same stuff. Um, a lot of things that's similar is probably how they're going to, uh, uh, I guess, line me up out, out wide and stuff like that, how, how I did in college. Um, just utilize the running back in the passing game out wide and slot out uh, wide at the, you know, X position. You guys get a better understanding of what I'm saying. And like, you know, just, you know, the, the schemes of the runs, um, the inside zone, the outside zone, the power plays, the one back power, you know, the, um, the duo plays. Um, so, you know, just a lot of really of what they're doing in their offense um, really resembles a lot of what we did. Just like, you know, putting the players in the best position to make a play and uh, really not doing too much thinking, just fast playing. Um, the more you think, the you know, the slower you play. So it seems like they're trying to make everything as easy as possible so the players could just play fast and um, and really use the best of their ability. Brian Becker, what's that? No, as you obviously by the end of your time at Bama, you had you know grown into a leader for that team. Is that a role that you try to carry over here uh, with this rookie class, or is it more just you know you're new to and you're kind of trying to blend in at this point in the process? Well, I would never try to blend in nowhere. Um, I try to stand out my own way because I'm I'm me, so I feel like I always stand out. But um, you know, just uh, becoming a leader wise, um, I mean. That, that, that's something that, you know, I feel like just, just comes in time. You know, it's not something that, you know, I barely even know the offense. I barely even met the, I ain't met the, the veterans aren't here, of course. So I ain't met them. So, you know, trying to, you know, move at a fast pace, you know, it's just, you know, it's all about taking things step by step by step. And then, you know, when it becomes that point where it's time to become a leader, then it is. But, you know, as of now, that's not something I'm really thinking about. It's just really, you know, learn the offense and learning the teammate, my teammates, you know, learn what type of person they are. And really bonding with them so you know I can become someone they could trust you know and then and, you know actually try to find ways to help them out if I can and then you know from there you know what happens happen. Jenna Herder PXI. Najee I know it's obviously very early but just what is your first taste of life in the NFL been like? Uh, I mean I think it's too early to tell for that too right now it's just rookies here so we're all kind of in the same boat we're all just like fighting our way, you know what I'm saying? We just, we're just we just now leaving the nest, people will say, you know? So, I mean, it's, well, I'll tell you one thing is we got a hell of free time compared to Alabama. That's one thing I knew for sure. So, I mean, that's that, that's cool, you know? Um, So now, you know, we get to, we, we have, I have all this extra time, so now I can spend more time in the training room. I can spend more time, you know, just getting my uh, little things right, you know, not stuff on the field. So, you know, that's that's a big, uh, a big thing I'll say that's changed in my football career so far, but, you know, like I said, we're all new here. We're all in the same boat, you know? So, I mean, you ask me that question when these veterans come back, then I'll tell you. Dale Lally, DK. 
Najee, you, you mentioned uh, the, the passing game and, and making plays. We saw you today with a one-handed catch. Uh, also nearly come down with one that was thrown oh, behind. you saw that? I saw that. And, and then you almost caught one that was thrown behind. You guys were here? We were there watching, right here? yeah. <laughs> Where are you guys at? We were up on the balcony. But the- I'm out there, y'all boosters. <laughs> <laughs> the hell? That's crazy. Um, but so, you, are those things that you, you feel like uh, you may, maybe two years ago you might not have been able to do that the, the make those kind of plays? Is that why you went back to, to Alabama that last year to get better in that part of your game? Bro, what? <laughs> where are you from? Did you, where you, did you, you always cover Pittsburgh Steelers? Yeah. Ah, damn. Uh, well, I think, I mean, I always been catching the ball, man. The reason why I say it is because every time somebody, I'm talking question. about the one, the one-handed catch, and, and and you nearly caught the one behind. I always back. do that. Okay, I always do that. All right. <laughs> I'll, not not to brag or nothing, but it's like it's like what the heck? Like you think is your, it wasn't luck? I can tell you that since y'all was watching, I'll do it again for you. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna get trouble. But I mean, like it just. I mean, it, it just it's just it's not something I, I work on. It's just I mean, I've been doing that since like middle school. I mean, it's just I got big hands, man. <laughs> man. <laughs> No being Sports Illustrated. Uh, what's going on, Najee? Um, what are your first, uh, our initial thoughts on Matt Canada and Coach Faulkner? Oh, man. Uh, very, you know, they, they, the way they, they utilize, I guess, their players and I guess really just, just they, how they have the whole scheme of everything, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's good for, that's somebody you can really learn off of, especially being a rookie like me. Uh, I'm going to do as much as I can to learn from them, just like how I'm learning with Coach Falk in a running back room. I'm gonna do this the same with them. I'm just trying to learn everything really um, about this, the whole program and, you know, ins and out of, uh, of the offense though. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning right now, you know, so I'm just trying to be a sponge as much as I can. Last four questions. We're gonna go to Tim Ben's trim. Najee, you getting much of a sense yet from uh, Coach Canada and Coach Tomlin about short yardage and goal line for you, how committed they are to the run in those aspects and to you specifically? Wait, what was your question? I was, I was looking at their microphone. Are, are oh, you on sorry. a podcast or something? Yeah, we do a podcast out of this. Yeah, I'm in the podcast. Oh, that's dope. Okay. My my did, I, was, I, I, got, I got distracted. Um, you say that? The, the commitment to running the ball, short yardage, and goal line, and, and you being a part of that, is that be, because you're here now, do you think they'll be more committed uh, to running the ball in short yardage and at, in the red zone? Well, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't call the plays, but I, what, what I can do is, if, if they do call on me, I will make the most of it and my opportunity. Um, so, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm here, I guess, to, to help that. But like I said, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the coordinator, neither am I the head coach, neither am I the GM. So, you know, I don't worry about those things. Um, I just worry about what I can control, and I can control what happens when I get the ball. And if I'm putting short yard situations, like I said, I'll make the most of it. I'll do my best for the team and the organization. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm. I, I don't make the rules, man. We might do a play action on 31. I got to go with it. You know what I'm saying? I can't say, oh, give me the ball. You know, I'm just trying to be, you know, just trying to, just trying to get my feet wet, man. Chris Carter, Chris Carter, DK. Najee, you're no stranger to, to taking on lots of different roles, but you know that it's going to be a big part of what you do here for the Steelers, not just catching the ball and running the ball, but protecting Ben Roethlisberger. You got a lot of one-on-one -on -one time with Eddie Faulkner. What have been your first steps just to understand those playbook responsibilities to take those on yourself and, and, and get that started. You said, what, what, what's your question exactly? Well, just what have, what have been your, your first steps been like just getting to know the playbook so that you can take on all the different roles of catching, man, blocking, and running? Yeah, so we do a lot of, we, we do a lot of study at Bama, man. Just a lot of, you know, um, you know, film work. But here, you know, I think it's step, it, it's, it has reached another level of uh, how much time we, I, I spent just, uh, learning the plays and then I was like you said, I mean, I'm about to be utilized everywhere. So they want me to know multiple positions. So, you know, it's, it's a, a lot, a lot of, uh, a lot of more, more um, film work than, than college, but you know, it's, it's like, I, I don't have no school no more. So, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm glad off that, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I have no issue with, with learning, uh, spending that much time in the, in the film room. Cause you know, it's something I like. So, um, you know, I'm, but I, I'm, Hey, I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the challenge. It's something that, you know, they they picked me for, um, and I'm, I'm glad to be in my position and have the opportunity to block for Ben, to learn all these new formations and try to help the team out as much as possible. All right, we actually have to wrap up, so I'm gonna just get one more in. Nick Farabaugh, uh, Pittsburgh Sports Now. 
Hey, Najee, you know, you, over the past, last two years at Alabama, you were a guy that took strides and strides and strides. And now, obviously, that you turn that into a first round pick. Is there something that you still feel is really a part of your game that you really need to ramp up? Obviously, you talked about soaking up uh, information, improving. What's like one part of your game that you really want to improve before the regular season? Yeah, well, in college, you know, the the competition level is nowhere near um, NFL. So, you know, for me, you know, I would always tell myself I got to start back to step one. So, you know, I'm starting back to step one to all the basics now. I got to relearn and, and try to become more better at, like, you know, being more explosive footworks, you know, reading my – having better eyes, catching the ball better, and, you know, just try to be more of an explosive player because, like I said, the competition level and the difference between, you know, college and NFL is two different places. You know, college sometimes you might line it against – people, you know, who's not going to play at the next level and, you know, but the NFL, you're playing against the best of the best. So, you know, it's all about starting that step one and then, you know, building all the way up to then, like you said, if you watch my college film, I mean, from freshman to senior year, I think I made strides, like you said. So it's really just starting, you know, because high school, you're not going to play against the college players and now college players, you're not going to play against the NFL players right now. So it's just every time that you're at a new pinnacle in life or like a new step, you always want to start from, for me, I want to start from step one and um, make my way up because, like I said, I'm going to be playing against a lot of first-rounders, you know, a lot of fair franchise players, all pro, all of fame, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's all about being a sponge and, you know, starting from step one. So everything really to answer your question. All right. Thank you so much. Thank Nazi. you, guys. Thank Appreciate you it. media members, and we are done Tell for the day. Cheer.